There are four main types of matter. These are called the states of matter. They are solid, liquid, gas, and plasma. Plasma has the most kinetic energy, followed by gas, liquid, and finally solid, which has the least kinetic energy. Kinetic energy is determined by the average velocity molecules are experiencing at the time. At different combinations of temperature and pressure, the state of matter will be different. The huge majority of matter exists in these four states, including the matter in space. Many of the interactions and phenomena in space are phase changes, or a change in the state of matter. For example, stars undergo a phase change from gas to plasma when they are forming, and auroras form due to the interaction between gas and plasma. Therefore, understanding states of matter is extremely important in understanding many things in space. Corpuscle states of matter. In a solid, strong intermolecular forces cause kinetic energy to be low. This means atoms cannot freely move, they can only vibrate. Solids only change shape when an outside force, like a hammer, breaks it. Due to this, a solid has a well-defined shape and volume. An example of a solid is ice. In a liquid, intermolecular forces are moderately strong and kinetic energy is higher. So, molecules can move around within a liquid. A liquid has a well-defined volume but does not have a definite shape. It can be shaped to fit the container it is in but does not necessarily fill it. In a gas, intermolecular forces are small or non-existent, so kinetic energy is high, so molecules are free to move anywhere. This means that a gas does not have a definite shape or a definite volume, so a gas will spread out to fill any container. In a plasma, kinetic energy is so strong that electrons have been separated from the nucleus. This causes a negatively charged sea of electrons with some positively charged nuclei inside. So in addition to having all the properties of gas, plasma also conducts electricity very well. Stars are large balls of plasma in space, but how do they form? There are large clouds of gas and dust floating in space called nebulae. As we explained earlier, Intermolecular forces between the gases are small, so the only thing holding these clouds together is gravity. Once the cloud is dense enough, it will collapse on its own gravity. It will get denser and hotter until eventually the cloud becomes a star. Somewhere in this process, the gas molecules will gain enough energy and become ionized, therefore becoming a plasma. There are two main types of solids. As we saw before, a solid holds its shape and volume, and the molecules inside do not move. They only vibrate. We can further divide these solids into two main types, amorphous solids and crystalline solids. Amorphous solids are structured randomly. Crystalline solids are structured in a repeating crystal pattern. However, there is a third kind known as quasicrystals. These are ordered non-randomly, but do not have a repeating pattern. The only naturally occurring quasicrystal was in a meteorite. This suggests quasicrystals are able to form in the conditions of outer space. Auroras are a beautiful sight to see. The reason they form is because of an interaction between two different states of matter. One of the sun's plasma escapes the sun and heads in all directions outward. Some of these head toward Earth, and most of these are deflected by Earth's magnetic field. There are the poles, some plasma particles seep in. As we explained before, plasma has more energy than gas. Since the plasma has more energy than the gas, the gas is excited or gets more energy from the plasma. While this energy is decaying or leaving the gas, the color of light is emitted. This color forms the auroras. An astrophysicist studies the physics of objects in space. They try to understand many things in space, including black holes, one of the hardest things to understand. They try to answer three main questions, which are, how does the universe work? How did we get here? And are we alone? NASA astrophysics. They also study quantum mechanics, electromagnetism, and other physics-related topics. Astrophysicists create, test, and apply various physics theories. If you want to become an astrophysicist, you'll need to have a PhD in astrophysics or astronomy. Alex Wren. Casper Rampachek. Bobby Sandin. Sydney Schneider. From Connors Emerson School.